Hello, my YouTube family. It is Thursday. Oh, goodness. It's Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday, uh, January 28th. There we go. January 28th. This is the longest week ever. It really does seem that way. Um, Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. I, you know, I'm... I'm I'm going through a brain freeze. Nothing happened today. Nothing, really, nothing happened today. So this is going to be quite short. But ironically enough, the lipstick that I was talking about either yes in yesterday's video that I couldn't remember or the video before, there was one I went through a brain fart, was Violetta. And sure enough, I'm wearing Sonia Kashuk's version of Violetta today. So as soon as I picked it out, I'm like, that's the name of the lipstick, the MAC lipstick that I couldn't. How could I forget Violetta? Violetta and I have a history, but not this Violetta, the MAC Violetta. But Sonia Kashuk obviously has a Violetta. I have done a Violetta on her lipstick before. And this is it. I did it as a combo before. This is it on its own. It doesn't even have a gloss on top. This is Sonia Kashuk's lipstick in Violetta. And it is lined with NYX, NYX in prune. Prune right here. Prune. Prune. Okay. So let me show you what Violetta looks like. It's kind of a very soft, mauve purple. It's not really mauve pink even though it's got a pink undertone. There it is. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. That is what Sonia Kashuk's Violetta looks like. And this is a swatch of Violetta. There you have it. Uh, that is it. Okay. So uh, I guess that's really it, people. I have nothing to say. There's no stories. There is nothing. There's really nothing to talk about. So this is obviously a very, very short video. Um, I can't even really make up anything for you. That's how boring the day was. That's why it was probably so long. Because just nothing was happening. Nothing. When I tell you nothing was happening. Just the phone's going crazy. I really wish this full, full moon would be over by now. Maybe it's it's going on its way. However, here's something. Driving home tonight, minding my own business, singing um, Eurythmics, uh, Sweet Dreams, because it was on the radio. <sighs> Service engine light. I panicked for a second. The car was still running. Thank God it got me home. Thank you, Jesus. I have a feeling it had to do with my uh, gas tank topper. That you know the gas, you know the the, the gas tank cover, ga gas tank cover. Because I remember the last time I went to get gas, I don't trust the way they close my gas tank cover. For some reason, I just don't. Sometimes that's the reason why the light goes on. And I said to myself. As soon as I get home, I need to readjust it, and I never did. So I have a feeling, I just have a feeling that that's what it is. I am praying to Jesus that that's what it is. If, I, I hope nothing happens, but if it doesn't go away by itself in a few days, then I'll know that there is something, that the car is trying to tell me something. But if it goes away, in a few days, because I, I, let's see, I'm, um, I was going to go to the movies on Saturday, but no, I've got too many things to do. Um, the lamps are going to come on Saturday, so I, it's going to take me time to adjust those, because, you know, they're like Ikea. They come in pieces, and you have to put them together, so it's going to take me a while to do those, and I have to do my tax, my tax papers came, so I have to do my taxes, you know, it, it's, it's not going to be, maybe, mm, Payday tomorrow, and I, I'm praying to Jesus that I can get my hair done on Sunday. So we shall see. We shall see. Um, 
but I've got too many things to do. I can't, I, it, the movies is out. So, you know, I've got a ton of movies. I can just rewatch the ones that I've already got. Fun, fun, happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, so that's really, that's the, ooh, that's the big story. Um, my Alta order is en route. So it's on its way. I should get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it over the weekend. If I get it on Saturday, I might make a video on Saturday if I'm very, very excited. Or if I'm too tired, I'll make it on Sunday. Or if I'm too tired, obviously, you'll see it on Monday with along with the lips of the day. But we shall see. It really all depends on how I feel. And lately, I've been feeling kind of sluggish. And I have a feeling it's because of what I've been eating. I have been eating nothing but junk food, people junk food. So I have to, I, re, I really have to get back on the, you know, not a diet diet, but I have to, I have to reel it back because now I'm feeling, you know, I'm breathing kind of heavier than normal and I don't like that. So, and today's lunch was, didn't help matter as much, but they were serving chili and rice. I cannot turn away from a bowl of chili. Okay. So And Jose, the one who serves every single day in the kitchen, he knows me by now because he even asked. He said, what, what are your favorite things that, that we cook here? So I told him uh, the grilled chicken panini. And I did, did tell him chili and rice. Yes. Actually, those two are really my favorites. And I always like your grilled chicken. So he, I looked at the, at the menu and there was Spanish rice and quesadillas. I like those too. And I said, oh, you got Spanish. And I didn't finish reading the menu. I just saw that and I was like, oh, I'll have that. And he said, we don't have any more. And he said, but you, you need to keep reading the menu. So I was like, keep reading the menu. He said, just keep reading the menu. All the way to the bottom. Chili and white rice. I was like, oh, chili and white rice. I'll take that. He goes, of course you will because we saved it for you. I was like, oh, you saved my chili and rice. Thank you. And he slapped a pile on the uh, styrofoam container. I was like, stop, you need to stop. Okay, that's enough. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat the whole thing, but you know sure as hell I did. I sure did. So, um, yeah. And I think maybe I should stop ordering breakfast. Maybe that'll help, Nancy. <sighs> but I, I don't have enough time to make a cup of coffee for, because usually if I have coffee, here, then I don't have, bre I don't order breakfast at work because I'm not hungry. The coffee holds me, it pretty much sort of kind of holds me until it's time to go to lunch at two or two fifteen, whichever. But lately I've been just leaving here at the skin of my teeth and making it to work at like five after nine. So, you know, and, and I can't really blame the snow. Well, some, there are certain st streets that like, hello plow, but since the snow is melting, it's making it just a little bit easier. But however, I have not been on time, like at nine o'clock. I've always been, you know, coming in at like five or six, not 10, five or six or seven minutes after nine. So, you know, I don't have time to, to make a cup of coffee for myself. If I, if I do, then I'm really going to be late at work and I don't, I don't need to hear any, mm, you know, so I order breakfast instead. So maybe I need to stop that. But I don't know what's what's stopping me from because I get up at the same time, I do the same thing. It's not like I'm procrastinating on anything. Maybe it's because I have more things to put on. I don't know. I, I have no idea. You gotta put your boots, you gotta put your socks, your pants. Oh, look who it is. Oh, he's got his crazy eyes. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he's over there. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, you don't want to have nothing to do with me? Where are you? Oh, there you go. There you go, boo-boo. Yes. Mwah. Okay, go go and eat or something. So basically, that's it in a nutshell. Um. Yeah, I probably need to reel it back with the breakfast thing. Because, you know. I, funny, the funny thing is the, the, the clothes aren't feeling tight or anything, but I'm feeling a little bloaty 
And it's got nothing to do with PMS or anything lately, honey. I'm so erratic. There are months I could go without because I um, it's it's uh, perimenopause. I'm going through it. So I'll have a month and a half, no period. Then it comes, then it doesn't, it comes for like three days, then it stops. Then it comes for seven days, then it stops. It's all erratic. So that's the sign that, okay, it's coming to an end. And usually, I guess for women who have given birth, it kind of depresses them because they realize, you know, their motherhood situation is coming to an end. I was never a mother. Okay. I, you know, so I am waiting for it to go. And that has a lot to do with it too, because a woman's body changes. And when she's going through the whole menopausal, y'all know the women of a certain age, y'all know, you know, you, you, that, that starts to happen. And so does weight gain. It just comes out of nowhere. It just really, it just comes out of nowhere. You could be the best eater in the world. You are going to gain a little bit of a tummy during that time for just no, because that's your, met your metabolism is almost at a standstill at that point. So it's really, yeah. So I have to sort of maybe tweak the way I'm eating what I'm eating, not, not the way I'm eating is the, what I'm eating that I really have to stop. I, I need to get back on my, you know, my, um, Turkey and Swiss sandwiches for lunch, no French fries, um, baked potato chips. If I want to have that, you know, I, I need to slim it down. I need to just slim it down. So yeah. And then there's that. So other than that, people, that's it, really. That is it. That is all. I hope you like Lips of the Day. Like I said, I've done this before, but I did it in a combo form. And this is on, this is it on its own. Sonia Kashuk's Lipstick in Violetta. And uh, that's all. That's, that's basically it in a nutshell. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you. Tomorrow, four down, one more to go, people. Four down, one more to go. Okay. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.